Well, I've always been drawn to technology. Uh, both my parents are scientists. Uh, conversations around the dinner table talked about, you know, electron orbitals and so forth. I, I went to college as an undergraduate at Cornell where I studied physics. Uh, but then I went to MIT uh, for my PhD and, and got much more into the energy side of things. You get a new project that uh, comes along and everything's new, everything's a kind of blank sheet of paper. Say, okay, what can I create here? Anytime you're dealing with new technology, you have to create the market that you're selling your new technology into. I mean, it's different than, you know, you come out with the next version of the iPhone. People already know they want it. Nobody knows they want microgrids today. Radio Energy's role is really as a project developer. I, in this case, we're trying to develop projects using this new approach of microgrids. At its heart, a microgrid is a way of taking control of your own energy. The grid link system that we have can take a feed, can be plugged into from uh, an engine or a turbine or solar panels or uh, a wind tower uh, or uh, hydropower or waste to energy. We really don't care where the power comes from. I, as long as there's electrons flowing in a wire, we'll take the wire. If you have a utility blackout in an area where there's a microgrid with grid link that's up and running, it's going to stay up and running. It'll literally be an island that's on in the middle of that blackout. Well, you know, most people are used to getting their electricity in one simple way. There's an outlet on the wall and you plug into it. That part doesn't change. Right? The question is, how did the power get to the substation or the building that you're in? All that's pretty much behind the scenes. But we're still figuring out how to get people uh, in tune with the, the potential of the microgrid approach. It'll be a lot more rewarding as we come out of the startup phase and start propagating these systems uh, in communities across the country and, and eventually across the world.